Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the best songs from the 1990s that don't get the love they deserve. Wanna know the rest? Hey, by the rights, how bizarre. Number 30, The Boy Is Mine, Brandy and Monica. There's nothing better than a powerhouse duet. Towards the end of the millennium, singers Brandy and Monica released this sassy bop and took the world by storm. With a classic R&B vibe, it is the perfect combination of petty and effortless cool. The unique concept of having both singers in a rivalry against one another was entirely new, and the masterful lyricism enhanced the narrative. It certainly did help that there was a rumored real-life beef between the two artists. Brandy and Monica added their own details to the melody and rhythm of the hit, showing off their distinctive styles. Despite their alleged animosity, there's no doubt that their voices blend perfectly, making us wish that they collaborated more often. Number 29, Fade Into You, Mazzy Star. The early part of the 90s was defined by a sonically darker phase in the music industry. After years of bright and highly produced tracks, people started to gravitate towards a more mellow or emotional sound. One key example is Fade Into You, a piece that perfectly captures the feeling of yearning for someone you thought you once knew. It's moody and melancholic, but still manages to hold people's attention throughout. The gloomy guitar combined with the dulcet vocals create an otherworldly audio experience that helps you tap into feelings you forgot you even had. While it's not as remembered as other ballads released during that period, it has a timeless feel that's helped it age well in the modern era. Number 28, Steal My Sunshine, Len. While the first part of the 90s was dominated by darker music, the latter half saw a return of lighthearted yet meaningful pop. One track that perfectly encapsulates this moment in time is Steal My Sunshine. Of course you can't become if you only say what you would have done. So I missed a million miles of fun. The bubbly instrumentation and surprisingly deep lines helped create the perfect blend of levity and hard hitting emotion. The song defines the sound of the entire decade, and when listening to it, it's hard not to be transported back to the past. Even the video strikes the perfect nostalgic sweet spot, reminding everyone of simpler moments in their lives. It's up for me, making sure I'm not in too deep. While the band's subsequent singles didn't have the same impact on the charts, there's no doubt that they bottled the essence of that era into one immaculate bop. Number 27, Be My Lover, La Bouche. The 90s saw the rise of techno music, leading to the creation of some of the most foundational numbers in the scene. Nothing fits that description more than Be My Lover, a tune dripping in pure energy. Its flawless production was the perfect vehicle for the powerful vocals, with both elements taking center stage without overpowering one another. Upon its release, the song dominated the club scene, and for good reason. It's the perfect bop for a fun night out, and has the ability to leave everyone in high spirits. Over time, Be My Lover has solidified its place as a quintessential hit of both its genre and the era it was released in. Number 26, Friday I'm In Love, The Cure. Although it seemed like this gothic-inspired group would be a permanent fixture of the 1980s, they ultimately defied expectations. Friday I'm In Love showed a maturation in their sound, and proved to everyone that they were here to stay. The seemingly straightforward lyrics perfectly conveyed the feeling of being head over heels in love, and it's impossible not to belt along. It reminds you of how fun infatuation can be when you're with the right person. With a giddy tone that's infectious in the best way possible, the song never fails to bring smiles to the faces of fans everywhere. While it's one of The Cure's last mainstream hits, it still helped solidify their legacy for years to come. Number 25, Lightning Crashes, Live. You know a song is impactful when it still hits hard 30 years after its release. 
While the words on their own are laced with pain and emotion, the delivery is what makes them so special. The angel opens her eyes. The number laments on the grief and joy that comes with the beginning and end of life, creating a deeply reflective experience. Despite being dark, the guitar picks up partway through, creating different dynamic levels. steadily crescendos, eventually coming to a head with a climactic final chorus, making Lightning Crashes a slow-burning masterpiece. While it's been overshadowed by other ballads of that time, it still stands out as one of the best, and for good reason. Number 24, Six Underground, Sneaker Pimps. There are some singles you hear and automatically associate with the period they were released in, and this is definitely one of them. The gloomy mood and aesthetics of Six Underground have peak 1990s energy without sounding dated. It combined both alternative rock and hip-hop-inspired beats to form a sonically unique experience, introducing trip-hop to mainstream audiences. It's an ambitious yet effortless number that serves as a time capsule for the era as a whole and appeals to everybody, whether they're a 90s baby or not. While the original singer is no longer with the band, they still perform it to this day, and it sounds just as good as it did when it was first released. Number 23, Groove is in the Heart, Delight. This not only helped usher in a brand new decade, it also served as a loving homage to the one that had just ended. Everything about this song is unapologetically whimsical, from the constant slide whistle to the Dr. Seuss references. We're going through to one dance of hoo -hoo. managed to include different aspects of several genres without sounding too cluttered, and the various samples used throughout served as Easter eggs for fans of the original numbers. It was a musical and technical feat, and helped open the decade with a bang. The campy presentation of its accompanying video only added to the fun. Even today, the track still hits hard, capable of getting people across generations grooving to its infectious beat. Number 22, Free Your Mind, En Vogue. Some of the greatest songs are those that aim to convey a broader message about the state of society. Free Your Mind manages to do so in the most iconic way possible. It's empowering from the moment it begins and advocates for various causes like interracial marriage and ending harmful stereotypes. urged people to free themselves of the negative misconceptions they might hold about people different from them. The group's jaw-dropping voices and powerful presences only made the presentation more invigorating. The classic rock-inspired instrumentals add potency to the piece and help command attention to the points being made. It's quality activism and superb musicality all wrapped up into one four-minute package. Number 21, Save Tonight, Eagle Eye Cherry. With nothing but an acoustic guitar and a dream, Eagle Eye Cherry was able to produce one of the best one-hit wonders of the 90s. While it sounds like a typical acoustic ballad at first, the lyrics reveal just how complex and layered it really is. Tackling themes of lost love, it encapsulates a coming-of-age journey in a single song. Its mellow yet undeniably profound energy caused it to immediately stand out among other chart toppers at the time. Save Tonight offered a more understated composition, but its reception among fans was anything but. Save tonight and fight the break of dawn. While it was ultimately the biggest success of Eagle Eye Cherry's career, it left a lasting impression on the musical landscape that is still felt to this day. Number 20, Far Behind, Candlebox. There are multiple songs dedicated to the late influential grunge musician Andrew Wood, including Wood by Alice in Chains and this song from Candlebox. Now maybe, did I mean to treat you Far Behind is moody from the start, with its somber guitar melody and aching vocals from Kevin Martin. 
we get a release through the intense chorus, where Martin sounds every type of upset over what happened. While he doesn't address Wood by name, it's evident that his loss has affected him in a major way. Far Behind performed well on the Billboard charts, and it's easy to see why. The best grunge songs find heart inside the angst, and Far Behind is at the front of the pack. Number 19. A Girl Like You – Edwin Collins Do you have a weakness for Scottish musicians? If so, you probably fell head over heels for Edwin Collins when the song came out. The alt-rock track made a mark thanks to the intoxicating guitar playing, its addictive melodies, and Collins' seductive voice. That's a winning mix if we've ever heard one. We also can't forget the great music video and all of its dancing skeletons. A Girl Like You was a top 10 chart success in multiple places, and even hit number one in Iceland and Flanders. We had never heard a song like this before, and thanks to Colin's unique style, we're not sure if we ever will again. Number 18, You Get What You Give, New Radicals. We could always benefit from a song like this one. You Get What You Give is an endlessly peppy 90s classic about how we need to keep going even when the world is against us. With its jaunty melodies and Greg Alexander's echoing vocals, New Radicals offered a new hope as well as a few jabs at powerful figures. While this could have been the perfect way to kick off a long and fruitful career, the band broke up the following year. Luckily, 2021 saw them come together to perform the track in honor of President Joe Biden's inauguration. We still have the dreamer's disease, and we're not worried about a cure. Number 17. Do You Know What It Takes? Robin Music fans know that Sweden is spoiled for pop talent, with Robin being one of the country's biggest icons. The singer made a huge splash when she was just a teenager with the release of her single Do You Know What It Takes. Bringing R&B and dance pop vibes together, Robin proved Sweden could groove just as well as anyone else. As she sings to someone she's considering a relationship with, she asserts her need to be treated right, and her voice fits beautifully over the song's funky production. With this work, Robin showed she knows what it takes to create something great. Number 16. Blade, James Many hit 90s songs referenced intimacy in one way or another, but few were as explicit as this one from Manchester band James. This bed is on fire with passion and love. A key word from the track's opening lines was actually changed for one version of the video, but the message is still pretty obvious. The number sounds like something that could have made a splash in just about any decade. I think you're so pretty. That is thanks in large part to Tim Booth's passionate vocals and the shimmering guitar chords. Though it was released in 1993, the song later gained a new life thanks to the American Pie films. We have to say, a movie based directly on the lyrics today would definitely be interesting. Number 15, All My Life, Casey and JoJo. Heartfelt ballads will always be in style, and brothers Casey and JoJo provided us with an all-time classic fit for the late 90s. I will never find another lover, sweeter than you, sweeter than you. All My 
High Life is R&B at its most gorgeous, with beautiful vocal melodies, a powerful instrumental arrangement, and touching lyrics about love. There's not an ounce of cynicism to be found in this song, only affection and appreciation. It even made Billboard's Hot 100 singles of the 90s list, showing that a positive message can lead to a massive hit. We could listen to this song all our lives and never get tired of it. Yes, I pray that you do love me too. Number 14. Missing, Todd Terry Remix, Everything But The Girl. Maybe you've heard the original version of this song. And I miss you. which was released by English indie duo Everything But The Girl in 1994. But chances are you're more familiar with house DJ Todd Terry's remix. Terry's booming beats are an unexpected but great accompaniment to Tracy Thorne and Ben Watt's heartbroken lyrics. If there was ever a song that could make you dance and cry, it's this one. According to Thorne, the track was always meant to be a dancey one. With this remix, Terry brought the party out without betraying the number's inherent emotion. If you've missed this song like the deserts miss the rain, now's the perfect time to revisit it. Number 13. UNITY, Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah has had such a remarkable career, doing everything from acting to talk show hosting flawlessly. So it's easy to forget that she was first known as a rapper and hip hop artist. Don't be getting mad when we playing is cool, but don't you be calling me out my name. I bring rap to those who disrespect me like a dame. But if you ever need a reminder of what a force she is on the mic, listen to UNITY. Not only does this song showcase Latifah's amazing rapping and lyrical skills, but it also has a very powerful message. Addressing the misogyny that had become prevalent in the genre, the star stands up for herself and others like her. The sentiment is as relevant now as it was then, and the track is just as impactful. Number 12, Inside Out, Eve 6. We had heard of a broken heart, but this was our first time hearing about a blended heart. I would swallow my pride, I would choke on the rinds, but the lack thereof would leave me empty inside. This hit from alt rockers Eve 6 is about agony, both painful and poetic. As frontman Max Collins sings over the blasts of guitar, he paints a vivid picture that has the depth to resonate with any listener. Inside Out was the first single off of the band's self-titled debut, and they were still rather young at the time. There's definitely plenty of angst in this song as a result, but it never gets old. Beyond that, Collins' skills as a songwriter have made it a 90s rock classic. Number 11, Possum Kingdom, Toadies. If you're looking for a whimsical song about a land populated by possums, keep looking, because you're not going to find that here. Make up your mind. Decide to walk with me. This song from the Texas alt rockers Toadies is about Possum Kingdom Lake, located close to Fort Worth. Toadies frontman Vaden Todd Lewis reportedly made up a legend about a killer who stalked the region. And the track's spooky lyrics helped give Possum Kingdom a new legacy. While this subject matter might be a tough sell for a popular song, the Toadies managed to balance both catchiness and creepiness. Just maybe don't listen to it on any late night walks for your own sake. Number 10, Two Princes, Spin Doctors. Some songs are just so catchy, they get stuck in your head before the first chorus. Yeah, you, you. 
This track, from New York's Spin Doctors, is a royal delight. The powerful drums and guitar grooves get us hooked right away, with the casual but charismatic vocals keeping us there. With its mix of loud production and pretty melodies, the song manages to be both tough and sweet. Two Princes became Spin Doctor's biggest hit, reaching number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100 and snagging them a Grammy nomination. We wouldn't blame you if you felt like listening to it now. Number 9. Breakfast at Tiffany's – Deep Blue Something When Truman Capote published Breakfast at Tiffany's, he probably never expected his story would become such a phenomenon. You'll say we've got nothing in common. Of course, the 1961 movie it spawned is widely beloved. Deep Blue Something smartly used it as the crux of their song about a man trying to save his relationship. And I said, what about Despite its title, it's been said that the words were inspired by another Audrey Hepburn film, Roman Holiday. Either way, it's a great listen. With earnest vocals and a huge chorus, Breakfast at Tiffany's is 90s rock at its most lovably sentimental. Deep Blue Something might be regarded as one-hit wonders, but we will always be up to grab Breakfast at Tiffany's with them. Number 8. Bound for the Floor, Local H We hope you're in a good mood because this song is probably going to bring you down. Boy, On Bound for the Floor, Illinois duo Local H are not offering much hope, happiness, or healing. Over distorted sounding guitar, frontman Scott Lucas sings raspily about how he's born to be down. The song is full of rage, much of it directed inwardly. While it might not have come from a positive mindset, Bound for the Floor still works as a commentary on self-esteem and how easy it is to tear yourself down. Through this song, Local H likely helped many struggling people to feel seen. Number 7. Stay, I Missed You, Lisa Loeb if you treasured your glasses as style accessories in the 90s, it was probably because of Lisa Loeb. You say, I only hear what I want to. On her biggest hit, the singer-songwriter addresses a partner she's on the outs with, but she knows it won't be easy to leave for good. Inspired by Loeb's own relationship difficulties, this song was first meant for Daryl Hall. You said that I was naive and However, Loeb held onto it, and with some help from actor Ethan Hawke, the song ended up on the soundtrack for the iconic Gen X dramedy Reality Bites. It even topped the Billboard Hot 100. Oh, and did we mention that she wasn't working with a label at this point? There's power in independence. You say, stay. Number 6. Seven Seconds, Yusu Ndor featuring Nena Cherry. Music can both entertain us and broaden our cultural awareness. In this hit featuring acclaimed artist Nena Cherry, Senegalese singer Yusu Ndor speaks from the heart. Singing in French, English, and Wolof, Ndor focuses on a child's introduction to the world, unaware of all of the issues facing society. It's not a second, we're seven seconds away. With its sensual production and great performances from Endure and Cherry, Seven Seconds is a song that provides hope during hard times. No matter what language you speak, you'll likely, you'll likely find yourself touched. This song lasts much longer than seven seconds, and for that, we're forever grateful. It's not a second, we're seven seconds away. Number five. Ready to go, Republica. Do you love songs that you can both dance and mosh to? Then you're probably a big fan of this one from Republica. Your 
ready to go mixes dance elements like pulsating percussions with rock ones like electric guitars. It all comes together to create an infectious and exciting song, punctuated by powerhouse vocals. Republica barely slows down for a second on this track, but with hooks as good as the ones here, we don't blame them for wanting to keep the momentum going. We'll shout it from the rooftops. We'll always be ready to jam along to Ready to Go. Baby, I'm ready to go. Number 4. How Bizarre, OMC Roughly 11 months before Lord was even born, New Zealand made a splash on the international music charts. This was thanks to How Bizarre, a hit from Auckland trio OMC. And true to its title, this song stands out against many others of the time. With its mix of relaxing guitar airs, groovy beats, trumpets, and singing and rapping from vocalist Polly Fuimana, it feels like a never-ending array of ideas. How Bizarre but somehow each element works together seamlessly, and the result is a song bursting with both creativity and heart. The way we can't get enough of this number is making us crazy. Number 3. In the Meantime, Space Hog while glam rock is a genre often associated with the 70s, it stayed relevant in the 1990s, thanks in part to this song from Space Hog. The band combines the pageantry of glam rock with a raw 90s energy. And they bring some 80s flair into it too, sampling experimental pop group Penguin Cafe Orchestra's song Telephone and Rubber Band. Although the lyrics might seem a little vague at first listen, singer Royston Langdon has said that they're about finding self-acceptance. If David Bowie had first started making music in the 1990s, we imagine that it would have sounded a little like this. We just love the all of this song. Number 2. Crush Jennifer Page. Is there any topic better suited for a pop song than a crush? On this catchy hit, singer Jennifer Page tapped into everything we think of when it comes to infatuation. From a racing heart, to overthinking, to fantasizing about the future, Crush addresses all the steps of falling for someone with true poise. Paige's sultry vocals are so enchanting, we developed a crush on our own. It's been labeled as teen pop, but the song is a lot more mature than you would expect. It's safe to say that we'll always have a thing for crush. Like I do, on you. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Way – Fastball If you want to write a song but are feeling stuck, take a look at the news and see if anything strikes you. They made up their minds and they started backing. Apparently, that's what Austin band Fastball did for this song. The Way was reportedly conceptualized after group member Tony Scalzo learned about an elderly Texas couple who went missing and ultimately didn't make it. While the real-life story is a tragic one, Fastball managed to create a song that honors its subjects without becoming too melancholic or coming across as callous. We might not know The Way, but we do know something. Fastball scored a home run with this track. What song from the 90s do you think deserves more recognition? Let us know in the comments below. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.